Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kristen. Today I'm gonna be doing some summer DIYs. These are what I consider summer DIYs. This is a part of the summer slash coastal challenge hosted by Heidi Sambel at Heidi Sambel DIY. I think is what it, your name's now. I don't know. Um, but anyways, um, I have a little different twist on summer or what I think of summer when I think of summer DIYs. So I'm gonna show you guys what I came up with using things around my house and some fun little trash to treasure DIYs. So let's get started. So this first DIY decor type piece is absolutely free if you guys don't follow me on Instagram then you probably wouldn't know that we had a huge windstorm about a month or so ago here are some pictures of what this tree looked like so my husband had to do a lot of sawing and chainsawing and getting it done we had a lot of work to do so this is where these three stumps came from and he we didn't even have to hollow them out or anything this is just how they were this tree was kind of already dead sort of I mean you know I guess it doesn't matter because it had to come down because it was down so uh what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of put these um, in the corner of our patio in the backyard and we had a lot of compost so we are just going to use that. I have this big tote full and we just have a lot of this in our woods from leaves and straw and goat poop and etc etc etc. So I thought this would be a really great way to do this all for free and then I had some plants and some flowers that were dying that I had yet to plant so I thought you know this would be perfect timing this is what I'm going to do it with and they um, are doing pretty well <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. This was pretty self-explanatory so I did not have to say a whole lot through this whole thing. Like I said, I just added dirt in these stumps and some flowers and there you go. This is what they look like and like I said, this is my take on summer decor. So I love anything outdoor, flowers, anything that I can reuse or repurpose. And like I said in the beginning, most of the stuff I already had at home or I got for absolutely free and those are my kind of DIYs. So this next DIY or this little thrift makeover, I don't really know what you want to call it, but I'm going to call this my roadside chair. So I'm not really sure where I got this. I know it was free, but I tried actually getting rid of it on the side of the road and nobody would take it. It had these weird animal legs I just did not like. So I did cut those off. So I did have to make the chair a little bit shorter than what it normally would have been. Um, but yeah, so this took a second. My husband's trying to teach me how to cut things straight and then once that was all done um, I had him cut this out because I thought we were actually going to need some sort of handsaw um, but comes to find out this was actually falling apart it was really gross so I had him do the disgusting part we actually just needed like a little knife and it cut right through I don't know how old this is I know it's pretty old and um, we're lucky it didn't wasn't full of mold uh, but I wasn't going to touch it until this was all done. And like I said, my husband just helped me cut this out so I could put this planter in here. These little planters or these little buckets, I think I got them. Actually, I know I got them at a garage sale, but I think they were a dollar for three of them or they were 10 cents a piece. I can't remember, but super inexpensive. Next, I just went in and sanded everything down to make it smooth so I could spray paint. So I didn't go on and on with this DIY because... Sometimes I feel like spray painting can be kind of boring. I did it through a lot of these DIYs, so I didn't even want to go there. But <laughs> the wood was soaking up the spray paint so much, I used black spray paint to start with. and was like, oh my gosh, no. So I went in with this satin pistachio, spray painted it that color, and then I went back in with the Waverly chalk paint in plaster and did some distressing. So you're going to see that I use black spray paint, the pistachio spray paint, and then I just dry brushed it with the plaster. And I love the way this turned out. 
when the chair was black it seriously looked like some kind of creepy Halloween chair that would be in a spooky movie or like a scary movie it was not okay I did not like it the chair in the center I didn't want to cut everything apart because like I said I wanted this bucket um, so you're gonna see it's kind of a little messy but once the bucket is in there it does look a lot better and this took forever because I kind of started to give up on this until I was like you know what I need to spray paint it a different color let's make it look more summery I don't have a ton of flowers right now and it's so hot that I'm not going to be planting a whole lot more and um, I had a little bee or like a little wasp um, greet me while I was doing this so I decided to just leave him there and he could be filmed on the chair here he is there but this is what it looks like when it is done and I absolutely love this for my front porch I did a different chair makeover for my front porch and my mom actually took that chair so I needed something new. This right here I have had for years. It was from Tractor Supply. It was normally red. Last year I spray painted this color and never did anything with it. So I said you know what I need to get something done with this using the white spray paint by Color Place. This is the 97 cent Walmart spray paint and I just gave this about two coats of this white spray paint because I wanted to do a nice little farmhouse look for this. And then I just went in with my silhouette and I'm gonna cut this farmhouse out. This is actually purchased, so I'm not really sure what lettering it is. This is just the way it came, so I use this quite often. And then I just use transfer tape from Arteza and I peel this off nicely. There was a lot of rust and bubbles. So this was a little hard, but I love the way this turned out. And then I decided to use two little goats as well from the Silhouette Studio. And I just think these are adorable. And this is what this one looks like when it is done. And we also have strawberry plants. And I was wondering if you guys thought that I maybe possibly could put the strawberry plants in here. I didn't want to move them just in case. And even just in case I don't put anything here, I still think it looks super cute just the way it is. And this little galvanized planner or bucket, I'm not really sure what you want to call it. This came from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago when they had the 75, 80% off sale. And I wasn't really using it. It was sitting in the garage. And I thought this would be a really cute idea to add drinks and snacks to this. So when the kids are outside and we're getting the little blowout pools out, that they would just be able to grab snacks and drinks without tracking in grass and water throughout the house. My transfer tape wasn't long enough, so I just made do with what I had for the time being. And this is actually all I did with this. These are very simple and easy and I just actually everything I used was stuff I already had laying around which makes it even better because one I would have either got rid of it, sold it, or would have sat in the garage for another year. And this would also be super cute for a party or a get together or any sort of thing like that but I just love the way this is. I think it's so cute and it just I used to have flowers in it. I used to have decor in it and I think this will work way better than it's sitting in our garage. But you guys that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will link the playlist to everybody's summer decor slash coastal DIY videos in the description box if I didn't already say that. Alright you guys if you are new to my channel I would love if you hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!